Greetings, good people of Prince of Peace and Marlton. I'm Brother Brett, pastor to the people at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church. As we prepare to celebrate Jesus' birth, Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, we recall Jesus' birth. We recall that God comes as one who is vulnerable, as a baby, in a very vulnerable situation, giving birth without a home. So we are reminded in the Christmas story that God comes to us in this way, in that situation, so that we would care for the vulnerable among us and those in vulnerable situations. With the coronavirus at its all-time high presently in the United States, we have this very keen in our mind. And we, the leadership of Prince of Peace, have decided that it is essential that we celebrate the birth of our Savior in the most loving way, following the command of our Savior to love one another as he has loved us. And so to do this in the most loving way is to do this in our own homes. So thus, here I am in my home by our Christmas tree here. Have no fear, by the way, the candles on the tree we don't light. They're just there to connect us to um, our German heritage. But we're asking us all to celebrate the birth of Jesus in our homes. And so we're providing several supports to help us to do that. Uh, for those that do not have any internet connection or uh, that kind of thing, we have provided a printed service that will be mailed out to you ahead of time. This service will also be available on our website for those that would like to use it as a form of devotion uh, in their homes to celebrate Jesus' birth. I'll also be recording a service short service with a sermon and scripture and some other things and it will be posted on youtube kind of like i do every week but it'll have a little bit a uh, little more things in it um, and so you can mark christmas by sharing in the message and the prayers and the music that i offer in a recorded service and you'll be able to access that anytime Wednesday on of next week. Then on Christmas Eve, the 24th, we're going to offer uh, three different opportunities to gather together virtually on Zoom to worship. There'll be a 5 p.m. service, which we're calling Gather Around the Manger with Your Family. It's specifically a service geared for families, but anyone is welcome, of course. And we're asking families to, if they have a manger scene, to bring at least Mary and Jesus and Joseph, or bring the whole thing uh, wherever they're going to be. And if that's too much work, just come and gather anyway. And we're going to have a similar service like we would at the church, but on Zoom, with families gathered around the manger of our Lord Jesus. That'll be at five o'clock on Christmas Eve. Then at seven, we'll have a different Zoom service called Christ is Born, Give Glory. It's the Christmas acclamation that we use and uh, it'll be a festive kind of service of some singing of hymns and music and scripture and prayer. And uh, I will be preaching live uh, for us. There'll be no conversation like we do on this weekend uh, worship sessions uh, be a little bit more like a regular service perhaps and of course there will be candle lighting and so we will invite uh, all to have a candle handy uh, and ready for that part of the service and then at 9 p.m. we will have another zoom service which I'm calling silent night gather around the light and so we'll be asking if you can and are able to bring a, a small light, a candle that you can have lit during the whole service. And it will be a quieter service of hearing the sto Christmas story, 
Again, I'll be preaching, we'll be offering some prayers and singing Silent Night. And so we invite you to join us at that time on Zoom at 9 p.m. Then on Christmas morning, uh, we're going to have uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Home, but not alone. <laughs> and uh, it'll be a time of fellowship, of uh, um, some games, uh, some prayer, hearing again uh, the promises of God, uh, and time together on Christmas morning at 10 on a Zoom. And you're welcome to come to that as well. And so that's a time to, especially for those who are alone, but to have a moment of support and fellowship together. But anyone's welcome to join us there on Christmas morning at 10. So all of these uh, links to all of these Zoom rooms will be in next Wednesday's uh, special edition email that goes out. Um, and that'll be the primary place to get those links. Then I do wanna say that uh, Christmas being on a Friday this year, so uh, the weekend services will um, be done in this way, that the Synod staff, the bishop and her staff, have produced a full-on worship service that you can watch and engage in. And so we're going to be posting that, and that will be our weekend uh, worship experiences for the first Sunday after Christmas, all of two days away after Christmas. Uh, and so we won't be gathering at all for Zoom on uh, that weekend of um, uh, December 27th. Uh, so, uh, but you will have an opportunity to, to worship with the bishop. And so that week, uh, the week after Christmas, uh, the office staff is taking a time of break, a time of rest. And then we'll gather again back for worship uh, as we have been on Zoom on uh, Saturday and Sundays uh, in our typical pattern, uh, the first weekend of January. So there you have it. Uh, there is our Christmas uh, schedule, how we'll be marking that. I know it is different. You know, the first Christmas was quite simple. And so in that pattern, may we make this Christmas simple and then get connected anew with the real meaning and the truth and the importance of it, while at the same time loving all of our neighbors and family by staying home. Thank you so much. God bless. Let us prepare to celebrate this season, no matter where we celebrate it, with joy. Thanks be to God. Joy to the world.